photographic examination of this patient because of the, because of the limited time. So according to that, we just uh, discuss in the brief. Uh, yeah. So uh, uh, can you show the picture of the patient? Can you see the image, sir, there? Yes, we are seeing it. This is yeah, yeah. So uh, this is a 20-year-old male patient have complaints regarding the appearance and uh, basically the functional both have the complaint of the nasal blockage and deviation of the nose and the patient also have the history of the trauma in the in, in, in childhood and if you examination look that in the frontal view entire nose uh, is basically not symmetrical deviated on the one side because in the frontal view we usually uh, examine some five or six most important point like you just check the symmetry of the nose either the nose is symmetrical or not and then you examine the deviation of the nose on which side the nose is deviated and then you just check the basically uh, dorsal aesthetic line dorsal aesthetic line in the ill defined not clearly defined in this patient and then and then you also uh, examine the width of the look that the nose uh, the, uh, the over wide nose over wide bony base and if you come down look that the uh, the basically uh, the nose is a under projected nose and the ella and the columella ratio that is the nose uh, normal and then if you move look that on this basal uh, view uh, both sides of the nose still are not symmetrical because on right side we have a quarter septum deviations uh, due to the deviations the nose still is not symmetrical on the both sides and the tip columella ratio is disproportionate and if you then examine due to this under projections the nose appears this over white elapis also so we usually examine all these things in the basal view if the come down in, in this uh, basically profile view or lateral view we examine the dorsum on the dorsum this is a basically the cello radix and you have some little bit bump on the nose and if you come down then look that the excessive columella show uh, because ideally there is two to four but it's too much columella show due to this deviations of this uh, one side of this uh, caudal septum and same on this view and uh, then if you come uh, examine on this cephal if you look that uh, how the nose is deviated on one side at the c-cell deviations and the nose is the under projected basically and this is the uh, oblique view so we confirm all these findings on the tip this have the depressions maybe uh, have some uh, lateral rural depressions uh, deformity on the right side once we open the nose so these basically six standard view we need during the examination of the photographic uh, uh, during the patient but your photograph that should be uh, standard in frankfurt horizontal plane all accept the uh, basal view and uh, you always you have a good high quality reproducible photograph in the pre op and on the post op in the same system same setting so you can judge uh, your result so now we move uh, to the patient and we start the case first we infiltrate along the right of the incision in the septum and then the second stage for the transcolumella incision and the third stage for the marginal incision and then fourth stage for dorsal degloving and then fifth stage for the uh, basically osteotomy along the lateral nasal wall. So uh, first we infiltrate along the site of the incision or in the septum. Look at the septum of this patient Mokkana. Just come and twist it like on this side. This is the usual classical patient when we find in the Indian scenario. So, Septum is the main culprit. So we infiltrate. So we have a good ballooning. And on this side also, we technical over here. Technical, technical on the thing. Yes, sir. Basically, uh, usually I no need to the CT scan, but uh, sometimes if a patient has a mediclaim uh, or sometimes the patient I just suspect the sinusitis also, then you go for the CT scan. Yes, this patient has the CT scan uh, because uh, uh, 
regarding from uh, later discharge also so just to rule out any uh, cyanogenic polyposis or something so i just was sitting in ct basically the septum is twisted and right side internal nasal wall is compromised but the sinus is clear marker there so this is the first step now the second step like just we uh, hold the tip bit lobule between the index finger and the thumb and just between the tip defining point and then in this vestibular skin like this then the third step along uh, basically for the marginal incision on this side also So this is the basically advantage of this gold saline that you have a good plane of hydrodestruction. Then this is the upper lateral and lower lateral. So just we infiltrate on dorsum on either side. Now the last step of the infiltration you identify anterior end of the inferior cavity and on both sides we infiltrate. So these are the Sequential step of the infiltration, and they all step are usually same. Now the second step we move for opening of the nose. We classically use the transvolumen incision, like morning we discussed. So just you hold your uh, tip lobule between the index finger and the thumb, and then you mark classically inverted V incision, just like. And then, like just a type of the W incision on this side, on this side. Now, how we make the inverted wings? Just uh, I usually use uh, this eleven number blade. Hold the this uh, tip lobule like that. Just do the perpendicular. Just the straight incision. Now the fifteen number blade. And like morning we discussed, never go just medial to lateral. I think if you come from lateral to medial, that is the safer. And then just like just on either side. So the margin habit is a good habit. Now just you use the sharp scissors for further dissection from the one side to the contralateral side. And again, if you feel the resistance, go from the contralateral side. You never go forcefully, otherwise you create the pulse faces. Like this. And then you finish your decision. So this is the vessels. Follow me, the vessels. Then go to the inner level. Like you can see, second to third. Now, further we use these two instruments. This is the single loop, like this. Then always give you the counter traction. Then when you have a good counter traction, you stop at the bleeding. Then you identify your margin of the medial river. This is the fixed pattern. So this is my margin of the right side of the medial plus. So I first secure margin of the medial plus on right side this one, and then check up. This is a, the left side. So first you secure your margin of the medial plus. So this is my left margin of the medial plus. This is my right side. Now for the further dissection, just go along the margin of this. Just like molding we discussed in the cadaver. Just along the margin. This is the advantage when you just first make the last polymer line. Push it in. Push it in. Then just look that you can identify where my scissor is working. And then you never go like towards the lateral cancer. Just go in the anterior inferior direction. Which is the point? Right. Yes. Now on another side. Yes. So along the margin of the first the medial plus and the lateral plus. Ah, 
I think at least two third of uh, of your lateral thrust that should be exposed because good exposure is mandatory for good surgery. So two third of your lateral thrust that should be exposed. So now the marginal incision and transcolumnar incision we finish, and then my further that I need this small uh, double hook retractor. So I put like this. So this three point traction technique classically important. This wide double prong retractor you just wear in this soft tissue anola and give the counter pressure and then take it away. Take it away. And give me the periosteum millimeter. Yes. So now this is my periosteum, khaki periosteum elevator. Just I my extraction that is the supra pericondrial. I just clear this little bit tension. Yes. So the plane of the dissections, like morning we discussed. That is the supra pericondrial, and on this side for getting the plane, just you make it terminal on this uh, lateral thrust. So like this again, just you just you cross this. So you find your ideal plane, but counter traction is very really important. Then just. This is your dermocartilaginous ligament, so you cut it so like this. And then now again you change because look that we, we, we identify that we find the net like structure. So I change the position of my instrument, then the things are changed. Now look that the things are changed. If you are in the right plane, there is no bleeding. If you are in the right plane, there is no bleeding, so then we cut it. So we cut it with the mucartilaceous ligament. Now again we want to try to identify the net light structure, so we just change the position of the instrument, so look that we find again. And then we scrape it, just like this. So there is no bleeding again. So counter traction is very important. If the counter traction is not, then you have a lot of the bleeding, and you are you are not in right plane. So we expose both sides of the lateral thrust. Now I expose my mid guard again, and then I change my instrument to the other instrument of it because this is not adequate. Now I use this instrument for giving the counter traction. Yes. So now give me the periosteum elevator. So now again the important thing the upper limit of exposure of this bony wall that is the intercancel line and on either side at least one centimeter. If you have an augmentation rhinoplasty, then your pocket that should be appropriate, just slightly fit your graph. But if you have a broken nose, then at least you need a good exposure on either side. And if you use like the or a power device like piazzo, then at least complete lateral nasal wall, you should expose. Now put the self retraining retractor. Self -retraining. So we usually put this self repairing is a very good instrument by Rajin Sarkar. So then there is no need to the hold. So we just we just fix it on the forehead by the teeth and and so this is the self repairing. Okay. Now, how we expose the septum again because this is a very badly debited septum. So, there is no need to the struggle how you expose the septum. 
जस्ट मॉर्निंग भी डिस्कस दोनों पोस्ट कर देना we have written with depression on this metal cross of this side that's why uh, during the photographic examination we have the depression on this side of the lateral lateral ala so now again this is the best classical method you just hold this lateral cross and then you separate this structure just and in your sixth sense you want to identify the glimpse of the caudal part of the septum now again you change the position of this your instrument just go nearer to the uh, septum otherwise unnecessary you struggle for uh, find the septum because in this case badly deviated the septum this is the supra pericondrial of the mid wall so i cut it to expose now we will cut it this thoda pass me aur pakdo bhaiya yes so we cut it yes because this is a badly deviated septum so because the septum is on this side okay now you hold now you hold the thing as it is yes this is the glimpse of the septum this is the glimpse of the septum so just i hold this just as a pen holding position like morning we discuss okay mock karo mock karo and just yes go to the near so when you just go to the nearer then you find your plane okay now on another side now on another side yahan pe let me put a retractor lagawa so this is the self retaining let me put a retractor yes you put like this and then because you should expose your mucor pericondium on both sides you can use the periosteum elevator i usually use this scissor so according to your convenience you use the instrument like morning we discuss this is the most difficult step i think in the rhinoplasty because uh, when you have it revisions when you have a twisted septum when you have four sacroplasty patient उटिंग
So at least you should preserve one side. So my sequence is that same the posterior inferior, then posterior superior and the last the anterior so, inferior. Ek bar roti banne chal raha hai so uh, can we go just two seconds uh, in the room of this? Yeah, room? yeah, yeah, I asked you. I asked you. Uh, uh, I asked you. 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 I asked Maybe this camera. Can you move this camera? Huh? 
one of the extrinsic force and another is the intrinsic force. So whenever we use a separate this upper lateral and the septum, then you release the extrinsic force on itself on the septum. On another hand, itself the intrinsic force just like a deviated part of the septum that has the intrinsic force. Uh, so yes, yes. The part of the yeah, posterior part of the septum is deviated on the right side. So uh, first, I, I I I trim this axis part of the border part of the septum before to create my uh, L -ester. So I I I I just create uh, first. I just excise this axis part and then I just have a look again yes now the axis part of this dorsum that also be excised yes so it should be incremental not like uh, in the one shot completely super yes 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 Yes, yes. Yeah, because uh, uh, the axis part that we have to remove. Now we just uh, make an incision for the harvesting the rest of the central part in the Yes. So, we just preserve at least 1.5 cm and then just make it removal. So, before, before you remove, can I ask a question? Yes. The part that is completely bended, yeah. what do you think how much you do with it? Yeah. Yeah, this bending part will definitely be correct, but first uh, we just harvest, then uh, this bending we correct later by make a, a incision in this, uh, remove this wedge of septum here, and then we put the better graph for correction of this bending. So, just I remove this part down and then. Just now I change the position and then just go for area complete the position. Now give it a second. So one side I complete both sides I complete my mucoplanchondium. Now I want to deattach this section from the rest of the attachment like this. Go posterior and run from come from the posterior to the anterior. And you always try to harvest as much as bigger piece of your cartilage. But you never put unnecessary steps on the cartilage and then I check it for the photograph. We will still have the attachment, so I will just separate the one. Now this is very uh, good portion. Just so this is my septum. This is my septum. This is the superiorly attachment. This is the anteriorly attachment, and this is the posterior attachment. This is the perpendicular plate. Okay. Now give me the septum. Now I just take the rest of the deviated part of the septum because. The deviated part still I need to the correct. Then the metrica, metrica is kind of like this. Uh, what is it? The venous seizure. Because the posterior bony part of the septum, that is also deviated. So I just cut it with this venous seizure and I remove that part. This is the deviated part that is the posterior part. Now we just do this in this way. And uh, 
after the harvesting, after the cheese, this is the PT part posteriorly. And you should try to add much as bigger piece of cardinal those that you can use for the reconstruction. Now 
So now I just fix this anterior free part, quarter part of the set comes in the center. Why double strong retractor? Yes. Yes. Now, why double strong retractor? So like morning with distance and how we fix it? Four of the Four of the Four of the So first we stabilize at least anterior part of the anterior level is fine and then two courses. Yes. So first you identify your anterior nasal spine. Sometimes in some cases your anterior nasal spine that is if not in the center then first you correct them and then you suture it. So this is my anterior nasal spine, this is my anterior nasal spine. So by the perioscheme of this anterior nasal spine, I can fix it. Give me this. This is the So just we pass this way to the aerosteam of the anterior nasal spine like this and then just go like this you can make a hole also by the little mark work but uh, this technique is easy for my beginner friend that's why because in our patient, we have a very small uh, anterior nasal spine, not like the patient nowadays. So, it is difficult to make it more my business. So, here we fix it in the midline. So this deviated part, this buckling part, we did uh, after the osteotomy when uh, we reconstruct the teeth, so we just put it back and then first we correct this bony wall uh, and then we move come again. part the tip is deviated on the one side. <coughs> now after the correction of the section then we just that first we have this little bit are you we don't go for another we have this little bit pump on this side uh operate then operate then operate then Yes. Uh, what is this there? What is there? Yes. So just in this something, just go, we make a cartilage only. Yes. So just we make a incision on this only process to find out just stuff carry your own thing. Because whenever you have a bump and you want 
काम कर रहे हैं सेन यूजर्स को बहुत अच्छा सही फोन दिया है बच्चों को तो ये भी ना खास वाला होता है ना कुछ तो उसमें ना तो उसमें ना ये तो ना लोग तो दिस इज माय दिस इज माय सब सेरियल सेल सेल एक मिनट अरे सीमा ये कहाँ कह रहा है ये इसको दिखाओ मुझे दिख नहीं रहा जो जो सरियोस के मैनेजर नाम नाम भी आ रहा है ना सर सरियोस के लिए ओके भी आ रहा है नाम उनका सर सरियोस के लिए यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा ऊपर फिक्स करो हाँ यहाँ पे ना यहाँ पे करो यहाँ पे करो यहाँ पे ओके ओके सो नाम भी आ रहा है ना सर सरियोस के लिए यस Now you can use according to your preference. Either you use the tadjum, either you use the your power bar, or you can use the various things. I mean, this is rest. This is the medicon rest. So I use this one. You can try it. So I I I think the doctor Vitali want to shift the audio visual. One number to shift. Come for a little bit. हेड पकड़ के रखो हेड पकड़ के रखो जी जी कहाँ कर दिया इसी माने यही रो now again, if you want to, they will show you the whole profile. Mm -hmm. so, the profile view, the photo view, the brain view. And if you take a look, uh, there are not the only people with white because of the tent. The current tree is more than here. And I think if you can go to the road as a letter because of the tension of the leaf. Mm -hmm. Very short from the side. Yes. 
the one of the table I can use. Uh, it was the context of the project. Okay, so you'll put a, just a, a, a cast on the nose itself? Yes, a very small piece of the city. Yeah. I like the black. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this beautiful demonstration. I will go back now to the room of Sonia. Hello. My post is now. I am audible now. Hello. Sonia, we are back with you. Yeah. So now, basically, uh, uh, after the resting of the bony bump, I clean my uh, dust particle and detail everything. Then for modification of this bony wall, basically in this case, I realized that upper part is narrow already. So uh, I just put the right side, basically the lateral osteotomy, and now on the left side just uh, for little bit narrowing. So main culprit in this patient for uh, deviation is the septum. So I just make already an incision, 15 number plate. So I use like the morning we discussed this uh, periosteum, this osteotome, curved guarded osteotome for lateral osteotomy. Then we just hold just around the 70 degree like this and then you hold your bony board by index finger and thumb and then go gradually down like this, like this, like this and once you reach parallel to the face then earlier I hold like this then you change your grip like this and throughout your osteotomy then you just uh, palpate your uh, guarding end of your osteotome and have, you have to know where you are working so just tap tap so this is my this is my uh, guarding end. Yes, tap 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 tap. Yes, tap 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 tap. So once you reach at the level of the medial tendons, then you just go superior only. And the standard pattern of the osteotomy, like morning we discussed just the banana set, high, low, high. Yes, that's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. Sorry. Okay. So now on the left side, I rotate it onto the anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. On the right side, we rotate the clockwise. On the left side, that is the anti-clockwise. Now the bone mobilizer. This is my blood bone mobilizer. So just I mobilize the bone. And then just like now the bone is mobilized. So now the nose is straight. It is more narrow than my rear. So, so you, you need lateral osteotomy on both sides? Yes, yes, both sides, lateral osteotomy. So do you do medial, do you do medial or paramedial osteotomy? No, no, no need, no need, no need. So that is a very important thing that first you assess your case where you want. It's not necessary that each and every case you have to know that own type of the osteotomy. First you realize that what uh, you, your patient has the anatomical deformity. First you judge. It, because it's not necessary that each and every use all uh, osteotomy in every case. Now, Sometimes lateral osteotomy is enough, sometimes no need, sometimes we use the combo of all osteotomy. So it's basically your judgment and your individual approach. So that's why in, in this patient, because the mostly the deviation part that is the septum. Okay, and right side see a little bit bump on the body part that we rest and then a little bit over white and just be narrowing this little bit. If you, in this patient, if you do the uh, paramedial osteotomy unnecessary, then unnecessary free your, more narrow your body part. So, this is the important thing that first you analyze that your patient what needs. So, this is the graft material, whatever we just harvest from the patient. So, just be carving this. 
First, we do usually the uh, osteotomy because sometimes as in the body of the patient, as in the as in the yes, like in the flexion, after half in the other yes, and we do the crude work first because some if you put the graph and they that they all all are the things that nice so like this. Thank you. 
Stabilization of the system is very important. I usually use the 4 OPDS. Some people use the 3 OPDS also. Hello, sir? Hello? Yeah, uh, if uh, the anterior spine is there, we have to remove the anterior natural spine, then how to anchor it? We have to remove the spine. Uh, you know, uh, there is no need to the removal the uh, anterior nasal spine. Sometimes the anterior nasal spine is deviated on the one side that is not exact, exact at the alignment of the filtrum. So just you little bit fractured it and just you medialize it and then you suture it. Entirely anterior nasal spine there is no need to remove it because the spur is behind that.
So we just suture this here and the pattern that the contract is bending. I missed the first one, so I didn't 
it was a very similar sort of case which I didn't respond to. Yeah, that is a very bad uh, case, typical like the, uh, so, uh, just like binder case, but really done very well that case. So basically this case is basically Crooked Nod. So just like typical Crooked Nod, so badly deleted septum, so I just reconstruct this septum after the excision of the deleted part of the septum, now septum in the midline. I reconstruct the mid -hold. I just uh, reconstruct the anterior debrite part and uh, now I think uh, basically on examination little bit depression due to this part so just I, uh, because uh, uh, this lateral press is not diffusely uh, uh, changed in the set so I just put uh, uh, on underside of this uh, a lateral press graph So sometimes when you want to the separate this, then you have the problem. So for my bigger friend, then you can use uh, hydro dissection by infiltration on this vestibular skin. So when you have a diffuse like the depression, then you Classically, you use the lateral product clip, but in this case, there is no need. We just put on underside a cartilage block. And 15 minutes later, we have to Size of this lateral to grind too much, I think first I measure, then it is it is around the taller, so I just little bit excise the separate part is eye trimming. So it's also important thing like morning we discuss whatever amount you excise but whatever you preserve it that is the more important, okay? You always try to preserve at least at least ten ml. So this is a very easy method. So whenever you have some focal uh, depression on this lateral part, no need to flip entire. So when you have it diffused, then you need. Yes. Now suture. You can use. This is also for the fixation.
like the dome creating sutures and the interdomal sutures also they are the basic things but these sutures when you use them you invert your caudal margin of the lateral plug and you have the classical basically two tip defining points number plate Whatever light you use the suture, whatever you use the graft, first you know the purpose of that graft or suture, ideal dimensions, ideal size and then how you apply that. And sometimes when we put the graft or when we put the suture, if we have some unwanted effect, then we check it or we can change it. It's not necessary once you put that, that is permanent. Fifteen number three. Fifteen number three. Fifteen number three. Give me a suture. 
that I saw put in. I use this cutting suture just to decrease the dead space. Measure the column. The cutting suture is a very important suture. Just to prevent any metoma formation unnecessarily. And then there is no need to be taken by myopy. When you use that cracking suture, then uh, from top to bottom, from anterior to the posterior, that is the normal sequence, then we can use. Do not use from bottom to top, because if you have any collection on that, then that comes the down in the CPH on the down side, cutting it bottom. So, you the more posterior to the around because this is the middle is turning so yeah. I not opening it back melting in the nose I usually put zero neck simple copper to me and uh, sometimes if there is turbinoplasty or something then we can use packing otherwise routinely I just put the separate and day after tomorrow we remove that Because sometimes when you have a debated system, particularly anteriorly, when you have a spur anteriorly, then the mucoperitoneal flap is the shape of the mucoperitoneal flap is just like right. some surgeon they excise it in the membranous part or in the some excess part, but by this suture you can give the good snap of the now we have uh, the suture the good stability whatever we reconstruct in this part Sometimes, like you, some patients have only caudal part of the septum that is the deviated, asymmetric and nostril and the patient doesn't want to the rhinoplasty. In such type of the case, you also just create a pocket, you know, like something, just create a pocket and then you fix inside. Never you cut it because if you cut it and remove it, then let the patient develop the droop it is. Poropidias, give me the poropidias, I need one more suture. This suture in the bag, back from inside to the outside, just like then again, so the advantage of this one that you know that it should be okay. inside. Again, the entry and exit of your middle that should be on the same thing. I've got an announcement to make. Yeah. Uh, the inauguration uh, <coughs> is for at 8 p.m. for a by <coughs> Yeah. 
Yes, we should clean it. So now, clean the, clean the, clean the, put the clean, clean the, put the elevation of the, and we can clean the. I usually use the 6 o white rapid sutures for closing my task for the nitrogen. Sir, you use the spring. 
Yeah, for about 10 days as well. I, uh, I, I used to take them out of the week, but I just think it's easier removing them at 10 days. Than, 10 days? Unless we get patients coming from abroad, yeah. and they often, yeah, if we get patients from abroad, they might want to leave a bit earlier, so we then remove it uh, at a week, but generally for 10 days, it's, 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 it just, it tends to come off a bit quicker and easier for 10 days. And sometimes, sir, uh, after the removal of the skin, sometimes some patients have some in thick skin patients, the suprative fullness, then in, in that patient, uh, uh, when you start some pinacode injection or something, then after the how many days you remove all the skin? So I tend to see my patient uh, obviously a week, 10 days after this, and then I see them at a month post-operatively, uh, routinely. Yeah. So uh, that's what I tend to inject for the month, uh, at one month post-op. And then I'll inject you know, every two or three months thereafter, yeah. right into the year, even more sometimes, mm -hmm. then break it again. Um, but yeah, I mean, on, on generally I'll, I'll inject after one month uh, into the pubertive area. Um, I know which I leave shows them very nice. I, I don't know, I, I, I missed the end of his uh, 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 um, operation today. I know he uses the he uses the external he uses the external cooking sutures uh, in the super tip area. Uh, I must admit I've never tried that. I, I've always been a little bit worried about because um, I think I spoke to the Chinese that you do get a little bit of indentation for a, a, a short period of time afterwards. And I think most of my patients are uh, they will be relatively tolerant of that and they want to go back to work. Quickly, so uh, I, I don't use those uh, talking sutures or all those sort of tips, um, uh, approximation sutures. Um, but I, I, I will inject them at about a month and then uh, we'll do my setup. Okay, so Socratic sutures, that is the good. I also start after meeting with the Vitali, so many patients. Uh, and we have one of fear of the scar, but now I, uh, I think in my patient also there is no scar. And we use uh, on the either side three, three sutures in the supra I was do. And it's a good suture. Yeah, I've got it. It's But do you see any sort of. And again, I can, I, I, I've never done it, so I don't know for sure. But do you yeah, see any of them after two or three weeks? Do they, they all have their little points uh, which take a little bit of time to disappear? And that's. That's my slight concern. <laughs> 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 We put the photo of it because we just put one suture because earlier we have that the septum is in hair. So now we correct the septum but this is the skin. So we just put the yes. I just put the one suture. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, just
earlier we could have negotiated the section also in the future. Now we have the good area on the both sides. Do we have the line for the same line? Put the same line. Put the same line. I think you you can see there. Hello. Very clearly. Very yeah. Clearly. Yeah. And uh, now you look from this side. Yeah. And ये वाला भी दिखा उसका. ये वाला ये वाला ये वाला ये वाला focus करो. ये वाला बेसल में. नीचे से. वो लिखे हम बेसल में देख लिखे हम. हाँ ये लिखे हम. Yeah. So you just focus on this one. You just focus on this one. Yeah. You want to do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Focus, focus, focus. So earlier, the patient have basically this part that that we we uh, correct this deviated part of the septum. That is the main culprit for the functional component. So we correct this one. And now look back. Yeah, we see. We have both sides of the nostrils equal. Very nice. Very, really cool. Thank uh, you. Sir, Medical uh, specialist. A question. Uh, this young has quite big nostrils uh, and uh, did you talk about uh, reduction of the swelling and the size of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just explained this. Uh, I asked preoperative when the patient in my OPD. Then patient is happy and the patient is refused. No, no, no. My this part is good. I just want my uh, functional correction for proper breathing and uh, just for this deviation. So you know in the rhinoplasty, whatever the patient need, that is good. If the patient is happy, then we also happy. So that otherwise this patient need. I I, I personally think that little bit this uh, excise the uh, seal part of the nose. So we just 
back this one now i use this simple uh, uh, tincture bend joint on the nose before to apply the uh, my steri strips steri strips steri strips when you apply this tincture bend joint then is act as a basically antiseptic antiseptic actions and then now first you put at the center one is the small steri strip then again then anterior half and then posterior half and it's a very simple technique just to my beginner friends and then one on the last like this <coughs> इसको काटना थोड़ा सा अच्छे एंड आई यूजली पुट द दिस पी ओ पी स्प्लिन आई नेवर यूज अर्लियर फॉर सम टाइम्स आई यूज थर्मोप्लास्ट बट आई एम नॉट हैप्पी विद दैट सो आई यूज यूजली दिस सिंपल एट लेयर पी ओ पी दैट इज गुड एंड मोर मेलिएबल एंड a very good result love i love pop dena so the pop one layer of steri strips and then second layer of this pop la and again one layer of the steri strips i usually use Scissor. Give me the scissor. Still, some people use a long uh, POP on just forehead. Also, I I I I never use on the forehead. Steady strip. Uh, Olivia, how often you use uh, a drain for just like use the goxel for in the in the uh, uh, for drainage in this uh, osteotomy uh, pathway? Sorry, uh, <clears throat> as you know, I do uh, quite wide undermining of the bone growth. Yes, so yes. So I usually do a, a hole in uh, above the inferior trabeate to have a drainage inside the nasal cavity yeah uh, but i think you have to drain either way either by doing a, a drainage inside or to put yeah. a catheter uh, when you do a wide of the mind but i think in structure rhinoplasty when we make a incision for uh, for engagement of the osteotomb then that that act as a drainage pathway but when you do the preservation i think that that is good just to make a um, drainage just like put the by the goxel because it's i think it's more a matter of the extent of the yeah exactly 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 but na very nice presentation dr sareb yes it's yeah. excellent job that we close your very nice audience <laughs> thank you because the problem is that time problem is that time limit because <laughs> my wife just come behind me <laughs> thank you so much for keep the attention and thank you so much thank you so much yeah. let's say a big hello to me for to say it was very possible to do that so uh, i again i apologize to the media for not being there with you it would have been nice to spend some time together uh, i had one question for the media if it is if i still there with me Um, you asked about ALA, ALA based dissection. How often do you do that in your practice? Ah, uh, very resection. I mean, quite often. Yeah. You say quite often. Uh, when there is, when when there are symmetries, there are soaking, when there is swelling, when the size of the nostril is too big, I would say, and I probably don't have the same patients on as you, but there are lots of patients. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's interesting, my practice, I mean, in, in, in London, of course, we get a very cosmopolitan practice uh, with their, pretty much every ethnic group. Um, but I think fewer and fewer, I mean, I, we always discuss this with patients, but fewer and fewer patients are now asking for it now. I just wondered, but you've seen that as well. I mean, in, I, I'd say probably I would be in about 40 to 50% of my cases, even up until about two or three years ago. And now, I don't know, people just, don't want to have it done so much. Uh, I've seen that a lot over the last year or two, and I, I, I'm not entirely sure why. Um, and you, you, I mean, I do a reading with them, I show them, and they just seem to think that it's, it's not what they want. It is, I don't know, it's, it's, there's been a shift, and I, I, I don't know why that is, but I, I've seen that in the last year or two in my practice, so it's, it's an interesting thing. But it's interesting, 40-50% of your patients, your because I thought it was an entirety of a very positive policy. Uh, um, as well, so uh, it would be similar sort of patients to what we get. Maybe I have to my level of expectation to my patients, so that if they would be it would be my best, and I prefer them to accept a score, which is usually quite considered for the people, but I prefer this and make my fear I really have to be in my confidence level as a person who is in there. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. 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 Maybe I need to be more more on this. Anyway, good to see you everyone and uh, enjoy the rest of our uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Uh. Thank you, thank you sir from my bottom of heart.